Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for watching another uh, 10 Minutes with Jesus. Today I feel led to share a prophetic dream I had of the rapture. This was actually the third dream I had. So um, let's go ahead and pray first and then I'll tell you about the, the dream I had. Uh, Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day, oh God. Lord, we, we thank you for another day in your presence, oh God. Lord, when we are in your presence, there is fullness of joy, Lord God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for another day, Lord, where we could learn more about you, Lord, where we could receive your word today, Lord God. Lord, for this is the day that you have made, Lord. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, Lord God. Oh, we love you, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord. Jesus, you are the only way to heaven, Lord. Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for preparing us in these last days, Lord God, with many signs, wonders, miracles, dreams and visions oh god lord i thank you for the dream that you've given me of the rapture lord god it was so powerful lord jesus and i believe that the purpose of that dream was to share it lord and to make everyone ready lord jesus hallelujah that lord you want to make everyone ready lord god hallelujah i thank you lord let your word go forth today lord god help us to be doers of your word lord and not just hearers oh god lord we want to receive from you today oh god lord fill us with your spirit oh god fill us with your power oh god fill us lord we need you today lord god we need your word oh god without you we can do nothing lord but with you all things are possible lord god we love you lord we give you praise today give you all the honor glory and praise in Jesus name we pray amen amen so uh, uh, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna read a verse and then I'm gonna tell you about the dream I had um, it's a uh, first Thessalonians uh, chapter 4 and uh, it's a uh, verse 15 or uh, verse 16 it says uh for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words praise god praise god so um in this dream i had it, it was uh this past saturday it was like around 5 a.m um and uh, it, it had, this this dream took place in the daytime uh, i was just going about my normal daily routine outside it was a nice sunny day i remember seeing blue skies um, and all of a sudden i could just hear this beautiful trumpet sound and um, I could see this beautiful light appear and all of a sudden uh, I looked up and I could feel my body just going up ascending my whole body I could just feel it going up and um, then I woke up and I could feel a beautiful presence of the Lord and after having that dream after having that experience I just feel that God is ready to rapture his church here very soon. He's getting ready, uh, preparing his church for that day, for that wonderful day where he raptures his body, his church. Um, we, nobody knows the day or the hour when the rapture will happen, but, but just like the word clearly says, the trumpet of God will be sounded. Just like I had, just like I experienced in that dream, and the dead in Christ will rise first, and all those who are remaining on earth, like the word says, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Praise God, praise God. So, uh, but it was a very powerful dream. It felt real. It felt like my body was really going up. Um, it, it felt felt like it was really happening. Um, it was powerful. And um, I just want to encourage everyone, 
If you don't know Jesus, I, I pray that you would know him today. I just pray that you would experience Jesus in the fullness of his spirit. That, that I pray that Jesus would prepare you for that day when he raptures his church because it is coming very soon. This is the third dream I've had of the rapture. The first dream, I was in a church praying with a body, body of believers and all of a sudden I could see, we could see the clouds appearing um, and I could see the judgment seat of Christ. It was powerful, it was very beautiful, vivid, vivid dream. And um, the second dream, I was driving my friend home from work, uh, my coworker, and um, we were going down the road, it was nighttime. And um, I could, we could see these beautiful colors in the sky up here. Um, and all of a sudden, I could feel my body going up. I could hear these angels singing um, in this dream. And um, the last dream could just happen in daytime, just going through my normal routine. And, and all of a sudden, I hear the trumpet sound. Um, God is clearly saying that it could happen any time of the day. It could happen in daytime, nighttime, any time when we like, any time when we least expect it. Um, so that's why we need to be ready. We need to be ready for that day. We need to be rapture ready. I, I uh, have another uh, 10 minutes with Jesus where I talk, where the title was rapture ready. I, I could title this rapture ready part two, but um, God is, he is sounding the alarm in these last days. There's so many signs pointing to this rapture. And after having this third dream of the rapture, I believe the Lord is clearly saying that the rapture is gonna take place very soon. We don't know how soon, but, but by having a third dream of the rapture, God is clearly, clearly trying to sound an alarm that if you don't know Jesus, today is the day to, to know him, to experience new birth, to be born again of the water and the spirit, like the word says. The word says um, to, uh, in order for us to enter into the kingdom of God, we must be born again of the water and the spirit. That means water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and receiving the infilling of the Holy Ghost, the baptism of the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in other tongues. That is what, what Jesus wants, what he expects of everyone in this world. So that is my prayer, that every one of you would be ready, that your hearts would be ready for the day of the rapture. So let's go ahead and pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, for your word, O oh God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the dream that I received, O oh God, of the rapture, Lord God. Lord, make us ready for you, O oh God. Lord, make us ready to meet you in the air, O oh God. Make us ready for you, O oh Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us to have a strong relationship with you, O oh God. Lord, help us to walk by faith and not by sight, Lord Jesus. Lord, help us to remove every distraction of this world, O oh God, and keep our eyes fix on you, O oh God. Lord, you are the author and finisher of our faith, Lord God. Lord, if we endure until the end, the same shall be saved, like your word says, O oh God. Lord, help us to endure every day, Lord Jesus, in prayer, in time in your word, keeping, seeking ye first the kingdom of God and your righteousness daily, O oh God. Lord, Help us to decrease so you could increase, O oh God. Lord, make us ready for that day, Lord. Make us rapture ready, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Make us ready for that wonderful, glorious day, O oh God. Help us to get right with you, O oh God. Lord, help us to clear any offenses, any unforgiveness, O oh God, today, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus, to follow you, O oh God. Oh, we need you today, O oh God. You are the only truth, the only way and the life, O oh God. The only way, truth, and the life. The only way to heaven, Lord Jesus. 
Help us to keep our eyes and our minds fixed on you, O oh God. Lord, we need you, Lord. We, we thirst for you today, O oh God. We thank you for preparing your bride for that wonderful, glorious day, Lord Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. Make us ready for you for that wonderful day of the rapture. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, everyone. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen.